Today, we are continuing through the Sacred Valley from Molante Tambo to Aguas Calientes, where Machu Picchu is located. We'll catch you up on some recent travel events, give you an idea of what one of our typical travel days look like, and showcase some Peruvian delicacies. So, let's dive in. Good morning, it's about 6 a.m. We left about 10 minutes late than we originally planned to, but we're catching a train to Agos Caliente, which is also where Machu Picchu is. So we're super pumped and we're in a rush. This morning we're taking the Inca Rail to Agos Calientes and it's about an hour and 40 minute train ride. And I think they have like airport lounges where you can like wait for your train and like this house thing and you can get coffee. So maybe we can get some coffee this morning. But checking our luggage because you can't bring anything big, just a backpack. Beautiful day, feeling good, I'm feeling great. Oh, they have like a little send off dance. Wow, I'm getting even more excited than I was before. <laughs> Vamos. We just got onto our train and there's two main trains that go to Machu Picchu, the Peru Rail and the Inca Rail. We tried to get the Peru Rail because our tickets were like slightly cheaper, but their website was just not letting me do it. So we're on the Inca Rail, and I think the Inca Rail is like a little bit more fancy. I don't know that for sure because I've never been on the Peru Rail, but these seats are nice, big spacious, the windows, Huge, and they have a tray table that like folds out, and it's like a wooden plank tray table. And of course, you're here with like 50 of your other friends, but everyone's just pumped to go to Machu Picchu, so let's roll. Well, that was fun. They did like a little presentation with the audio system. It was all in Spanish, so I don't know what exactly was going on, but it felt like a love story. It's beautiful. Fun addition to the train ride, along with the beautiful views. We just got done with our hour and 40 minute train ride and we just left the train station and you're greeted with a beautiful view. It's just, everywhere we've gone in Peru has just been beautiful. The train ride, phenomenal. And now we're here in Aguas Calientes. We're gonna go find a coffee shop and post up until we can get into our accommodation for the night. I'm excited to see the city. Coffee shop secured. Mm. Good spot. But now it's time to edit and get caught up on some admin work. Okay, so while we're in the coffee shop, I figured now is probably a good time to catch y'all up on some recent developments. We were hiking the other day at the end of our last video, and towards the end of the hike, I got bit by a dog. Long story short, there were three dogs on the hiking trail. There was a house nearby, the fence was open, no owner in sight. Two of them were barking. The one that wasn't barking bit me. So, because we're in Peru, and we don't know the vaccination status of the dog, we are now getting taken care of. So I got my first vaccine dose, and now I get to take some antibiotics for seven days. I just want to feel better and not have rabies. So we're doing all the necessary precautions. And yeah, just figure out how to say that real quick while I have some downtime. And also to give you an insight of just the dog culture in Peru, we're in this coffee shop. And I kid you not, this dog just pulled up to us and just tail wagging and all. It's pretty friendly and just sits down next to us. This happens a lot. We were also in Lake Titicaca and there's a dog that followed us up the trail. I, I don't know what happens. My friend jokingly called me the dog whisperer, so I guess I'm rolling with it now. Time to check into our Airbnb. We're gonna stay here for one night, so that way we can wake up early in the morning and go see Machu Picchu. But I'm excited to explore Aguas Calientes. We walked to, like through the city. Hello, I'm excited to see more. Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días, todo bien, gracias. 
all checked in, but let's give you a quick tour. Desk, bed, and a bathroom. Has the essentials for the night. The real test, if it has hot water or not. <laughs> Everyone has lied to us and said they've had hot water and it's been warm water. <laughs> Not hot. But maybe we're just babies. <laughs> we're spoiled. Next on the agenda, we're gonna go back into town and grab some lunch before we head to the ticket office to see if we can get one more different circuit for tomorrow's hike at Machu Picchu. For lunch, we went to the local market and I got Lomo Soldado and Brandon got Dollar and Salado. <laughs> but mom was cooking it up for us. We about to dig in and we got a delicious looking bagel too. <laughs> I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone said that this is very spicy. I'm about to put it all over everything. <laughs> I'm proud. <laughs> Will I regret this? <laughs> Maybe. Bunch of raw onions and spicy peppers. I'm here for it. Eat it like a pot of pasta. Try to get one of everything in there. Initial taste test. That's spicy. But very delicious. I'm already warm, so this is gonna be dangerous. But I'm pumped. I love a spicy food. Am I gonna die? Yeah, you should have tried it first. <laughs> I just added a little bit, but now I'm nervous. <laughs> mm. This is good. Mine was not that spicy. Maybe I didn't put enough on. But it's got chunks of meat, potato, rice. So good. Kind of reminds me of pico macho, but better. Mm. I like it. I like it here. I like the local markets. They're my friends. This bagel's so big and lumptious. All right, cheers. It's got that nice chewy outside and soft inside and the seeds on top. I give this bagel a solid eight out of 10. <laughs> figured out what was going on. They give you this ticket and it has, there's a number on it and it's basically like a roll call like one, two, three, come on over and like you can get your tickets for Machu Picchu. So our 5 p.m. was a 5 p.m. time to come back to where we were to get tickets to Machu Picchu and we're debating on whether we should wait and go back at 5 p.m. or just say forget about it because we do have two circuits of Machu Picchu for tomorrow and Machu Picchu is divided into all these different circuits but you need to buy different tickets for each circuit and so part of me is like has like this FOMO where I'm like oh my gosh when am I ever gonna be back to Machu Picchu again I have to try this circuit this circuit and this circuit but then also part of me is like all right we're doing two circuits tomorrow that's probably plenty and we do not need a third ticket but then part of me is still like, I think we should go get the other one. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm leaning towards we're not gonna get them and we're just gonna be happy with the two that we have. So we're gonna probably just enjoy the rest of our day in Aguas Calientes and see when the night takes us. The first stop tonight is locating the place to get the second dose of my rabies vaccines because after you get bit, you have like, some immune one and then the next three you get on the third the fifth and the seventh day so a total of four doses i don't really know i'm figuring this all out some advice don't get bit by a dog i don't know but yeah first stop we've located a place so we'll be back here tomorrow Nice. So beautiful. A restaurant with a view. We ended up getting dinner here. A lot of the restaurants had very similar menus. And we were already here in Hungary. So we ordered two Peruvian dishes. And I'm pumped because I got alpaca tenderloin with some fettuccine. And we forgot what Becky got, but it looks bomb. Real talk. So I forgot what I ordered. And I think it's veal, but I could be wrong but it's slow cooked in this gravy sauce with risotto. So I'm gonna try the meat. There's 
so much flavor in that. Like it tastes peppery and delicious. Wow. That is so good. I could get that again. 10 out of 10. That's amazing. The alpaca steak has a nice charred flavor. The sauce on it, it's like really nice, flavorful, and peppery. And then the fettuccine just tops it all off. Now, let's finish up this meal. And I want to get a Peruvian dessert, but we'll see if I have enough room for that. We got some picarones, which is like a traditional Peruvian donut, sweet potato donut covered in syrup. And we have a soccer game to watch too. So, let's try these. Look, she fried them right fresh in front of us. They look so good. They're nice and warm. They smell phenomenal. All right. Mm. So good. The dough is crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Wow. We might have to get a few more orders. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kind of full. But these are delicious. So we're going to house these and we'll see y'all in Machu Picchu. And I'm super excited because it's going to be our second wonder of the world. And I have a slight idea what to expect, but I'm just super pumped. But we'll see you tomorrow, okay?